Welcome back to We're Reading Virtual Story Times Summer Reading Program Second Story and Craft for the week of July 18th, 2021, Sea Animals. I can read Pete the Cat, Scuba Cat, written and illustrated by James Dean. Pete the Cat is excited. He's going scuba diving. Pete puts on a mask and fins. He has a tank full of air. He hopes to see lots of fish. If you were lucky, you might see a seahorse, says Captain Joe. A seahorse, says Pete. I can't wait. I never saw one before. The ridges look like a horse's mane, says Captain Joe. Groovy, says Pete. Pete jumps into the water. Splash! Down, down, down he goes. Up, up, up go the bubbles. Pete looks for a seahorse. He sees a swordfish. Pete swims out of its way. Pete waves to a stingray. It has a long, skinny tail. That's not a seahorse, thinks Pete. Pete looks high and low for the seahorse. Then he feels a tickle. Pete sees a school of fish. They all look alike, except for one. It puffs up. It is a blowfish. It is not a seahorse. Where could one be? Pete looks in the rocks. What is that? It is an octopus. It has eight legs. It is not a seahorse. Pete feels a tickle. What could it be? Pete turns. He sees a cave. Is there a seahorse inside? Pete sees a crab with claws. A seahorse does not have claws. Pete thinks. The cave is getting darker. Pete feels a tickle. Then he sees an eel. Pete swims past it. It's too long to be a seahorse. Oh no! It's too dark to see. How will Pete get out? Pete sees a jellyfish. It glows in the dark. Pete is almost out of the cave. He sees an angelfish. It's very colorful. Pete is out of the cave. So why is it so dark? Pete is in a shadow. He's in the shadow of a whale. Yikes! Pete wishes he could jump on a seahorse and ride away. Pete hops on a sea turtle instead. It takes him to the boat. I did not see a seahorse, thinks Pete. He feels a tickle on his tail. A seahorse, cries Pete. What a surprise! You were with me all along, says Pete. What a cool adventure. The end. Okay, we're going to make a marbleized seahorse. Um, what you'll need is a paper towel. This is for later. Put that aside. You'll need the seahorse template. There it is there. You'll need two craft sticks. Um, they're just going to be used as tools for this. Some glue, or a glue stick, and a googly eye, but on the seahorse once it's done. And you'll need shaving cream, and you'll need some food coloring. And I just picked red, blue, and yellow because that's the primary colors. So the first thing you're going to do, shake up your shaving cream. Make sure it's a foamy one. And you're going to put it, oh, I'm sorry, you need a tray or a plate. 
I guess we could also do this on wax paper. But we want to cover, you don't need too, too much, but you want to cover the um, thing. And you're going to use the side of this to kind of smooth it, make it all even. See, I used way too much. Of course, when am I making a craft that I don't say I use way too much? But that's okay. Um, smooth it out. Goodness gracious. Yeah, the one thing I always forget is that shaving cream expands. And it's not that I forget it, it's just I don't factor it into my decision on how much to put on a project. So I always end up with way extra. Okay. So this is pretty much even. I'm going to cut that off. Okay. Oh, see, I got it all over the table. Oh. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, I guess you should have extra paper towel around to clean yourself up. Good thing about um, shaving cream is um, it tends to make things shinier, so. The next thing we're gonna do is take our food coloring and we're gonna kinda put it on here a few dots will do it and this looks orange but it's yellow that's just how the food coloring works and the blue and you can do this in any order you want you can use whatever colors that you want you can use two colors three colors you can get the neon anything you want um, and you're gonna take your other craft stick and just kind of cut through make different designs the yellow is turning out more of an orange than a yellow. This almost looks like taffy. And I'm just going to kind of straighten it out, make it... You don't have to do this, you can keep your stripes. But I wanted to do this. I want to make sure I get it on all of the parts. And it looks kind of tie-dyed. Okay. And then I'm gonna wipe this off because I meant to use the other one. Use the first one. I'll wipe it off. Because we're gonna use it to cut off a bit. Oh, look how pretty. That's all marbleized, isn't it? Okay, put that aside. And we're gonna take our seahorse and you decide whether you want the black line to show or not. It's probably gonna be mostly covered. But um make sure it's okay. And we're going to push this down for a few minutes, a few seconds, sorry. Make sure it's totally covered. You can see it kind of getting on there. Carefully lift it up. And then we got to get the tail in there. Because it's longer than my tray. If you have wax paper down, it'll probably be, you'll probably do it right. Okay, pull it up. And this a little in the middle. He's all covered in shaving cream. I'm gonna move this aside. Oof, it's all over me. It feels good though. I really like the feeling of shaving cream. We're gonna lay it down. Sorry, my phone's been going crazy today. If you can hear it in the background, my daughter got her second COVID shot today, so I want to leave it on in case she has any negative effects but I'm sure she won't and we just use this to kind of carefully scrape off the excess leaving just behind the color somehow his nose got stuck up there Take a couple swipes at it. That looks pretty cute. I 
and I need more paper towel for my hands. Definitely have a roll ready. I know when we do this for story time, we're gonna have several rolls outside. <laughs> okay, get it mostly off your fingers because then you gotta use the glue stick. Or your glue. I'm just gonna put it all over the back of the eyeball. Put it where I want it. Which looks good there. And that's it. That's how you make your marbleized seahorse. <laughs>